this model is actually the first that I built with what turned out to be the indispensable assistance of Richard Enser. I had for some time been planning, at the back of my mind, to build a model of a ship of this period. I'd visited Wilton House to examine and photograph their model of the Hampton Court and spent a considerable number of hours absorbed in great ships by Frank Fox and the various catalogues of drawings by the Van der Velders and had even started attempting to put together a basic draft using Dean's doctrine of naval architecture. But with so little information available at that time on ships of this period, and with considerable doubts on the efficacy of my own research and the discrepancies between the Wilton House model and the Vanderveld drawings, the most glaring of which was to me the absence of the open stern galleries on the Wilton House model, I was thinking of giving up on the project. As a last resort, I wrote to John Bowen, the then editor of Model Shipwright. He referred me to Frank Fox, who I contacted. He replied with a mass of helpful information, including the fact that to use Dean's doctrine was not the best way to go. He also introduced me to Richard Enser, who informed me that his book, The Restoration Warship, was shortly to be published. This book deals with the Lennox, a sister ship to the Hampton Court, and also incidentally to the Anne, the subject of the first video in this series. The book is a result of 20 years research and deals with the design, construction and career of the Lennox. It contains detailed plans of every feature and is lavishly illustrated. I drew up a rigging plan, correct for this date, from James Lee's masting and rigging, and was ready to go. The Hampton Court, like the Anne, was one of the third rates of King Charles II's great shipbuilding programme. The model was built using my usual method for a navy board model. Brazilian boxwork was used for all the framing and yellow cedar for the planking. All rigging was carried out using pre-painted copper wire. The very finest ropes use a single strand. The thicker ones are made up of two or more strands of different thicknesses wound together in the jaws of a lathe. The case was made from gelatin finished with walnut and oak burr veneer.